What's up guys, it's Mod6, and in this video we are talking about the best possible loadout for Call of Duty Mobile, Battle Royale, climbing the ranks after rank reset. This is the best loadout for season five. Let's go. All right, we are talking about the best possible loadout to get high kill games and win Battle Royale. So the best gun in Battle Royale right now is the M13 for sure. This loadout, I actually got this loadout from Sun. Now Sun is one of the best Battle Royale players, if not the best Battle Royale player in the world. And so when he says that this is the M13 loadout that you wanna use, this is the M13 loadout that you want to use. We've got the monolithic suppressor, which adds damage range, and the heavy long barrel, which also adds damage range. This is the key stat on this loadout, because when you look at the ammunition with the double stack, we have damage range again, and the long shot, more damage range. And so when you look at the overall stats on this gun, it's 90% damage range. This thing is a mid to long range AR that does surprisingly well up close because of its fire rate. Now you drop some movement speed, you drop some strafe speed and some ADS time, but you can get perks that help with that quite a bit. And we'll talk about how to prioritize your weapon attachments in the game. This is the M13 loadout. Now for your Secondary loadout, what I've been using is the M21. The M21 is amazing because it's got all of the benefits of a long range sniper, but the fire rate of a marksman rifle like the SKS. It's got a super fast fire rate, super long range. Again, you can see the monolithic suppressor and the extended light barrel adding damage at range. OWC TAC laser is obvious. The operator foregrip I have on here very specifically because of how fast the fire rate is. When you reduce the vertical recoil, you can get more accurate repeat shots with the M21. And then the strike stock just stabilizes the entire thing. It's basically point and shoot with this thing. So that's my secondary. And I go for M13, M21 off of the jump from ground loot as well. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking to pick up an AK-117, an M4, an AK-47, something like that early, plus another sniper, start to pick up the attachments, find an M13, find an EBR on the ground, and then go from there and pick up the loadout drop. Now for class, I'm using Ninja. What I've found is that other players not being able to see your footsteps and giving you silent movement like that is absolutely key it lets you get close to the enemy it lets you maintain the element of surprise in battle royale the element of surprise is everything if you can start shooting them before they ever see you if they don't have good cover close they're dead every single time ninja allows that more often than not and then the grappling hook is convenient to be able to flank quickly to surprise someone or to be able to change elevation quickly hop up on the roof of a building and surprise someone from an angle they're not expecting you so ninja is all about the element of surprise and that's a super key aspect of Battle Royale. And now let's look at a couple of in-game examples to show you why this is the best loadout and some of its strengths. Now, something you might not know in the pre-game lobby, there's something you can actually do to increase your chance of winning in the pre-game lobby. You find a helicopter, you take it up, and you toss it. A pre-game helicopter toss is a proven method to increase your likelihood of winning. And if you are lucky enough to see it, and able to do it. A double pregame helicopter toss adds a crazy amount of luck during the game. It's proven, it's science. Toss a helicopter in the pregame lobby. Let's go. Now the jump choice, typically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find an elevated loot area dictated by the orange text on the map that also has a helicopter. So I'm gonna jump from anywhere around 1100 meters. I'm a little late here. And then the slide glide has been nerfed a little bit. And so I'm just gonna go straight in to one of the larger buildings here at Factory. Jumping close to the helicopter is gonna help you kind of maintain control. And if somebody's able to hop in that helicopter quickly, we'll give you a chance to intervene and maybe save that thing. So I'm looking for AR early. We've got a kinetic armor here. That's why I'm jumping into the elevated loot area. And then I'm gonna pick up the M4 as my primary AR and start looking for a few attachments here. Picking up some sniper ammo, knowing that I'm gonna play for the sniper rifle later on. 
and we'll get the kinetic armor in now. Now, see, somebody just jumped in. It's probably a bot, but I'm in a situation where I have weapons with attachments and a kinetic armor, and they're just not going to have nearly the opportunity to get the kill compared to what they would have if we were evenly matched. I can kind of run in on this and expect. Now we have two. This might be a duo. All right, so he was also being shot at from over here. Nice and easy. That kinetic armor taking that damage, soaking up that damage, and really not giving them a chance. But get a gun, get some attachments, and then get over to get the chip upgrade as quickly as possible. That's why I'm jumping near a helicopter, is so I can almost guarantee that I'll be right at the chip as soon as it's available. Pick up the chip upgrade. All right, now, early on in the game, we've got a vehicle, we've got the chip upgrade, we've got a kinetic armor, and we're off to a great start. Now, we'll look around as we wait for that first crate. We're going to look in likely areas where there's going to be people, and I'm going to try and set up a situation where I'm dropping in on them quickly while they're occupied, or where I have one piece of cover between me and them so that I can maneuver and still maintain some surprise. So we have a guy down here, and he just went into this building, so I'm going to just drop right here. He's not going to be able to shoot me right off the drop and just try and box him in. Easy enough. The first airdrop is down. We're going to head there and try and be pretty early to these airdrops. It's still in the air. You can see it there in the distance. All right, so we have airdrops coming in right above us here. We're probably going to go to this far one because it's likely going to be the first on the ground. Get that M13 as early as possible, and then double back to pick up the EBR from one of the other airdrops, and we will have the best loadout in Battle Royale and be ready to go. All right, we have our M13. We're all set. Now, I like the fast ADS, the precision shot, and the extended mag because that fast ADS accounts for some of the slowdown of the ADS on this weapon. So that's a good perk to have and we've got the legendary version so we've basically accounted for the weapon's weakness in a big way uh, with the attachment and this thing is basically unbeatable now so we're going to continue to look around over here and now we'll head to the other airdrop oh, we've got somebody out in the open get a chance to see the m13 in action so i'm going to drop just with a clean line of sight here maybe oh, he uses some cover see how stable the gun is it basically has no recoil incredibly fast fire rate and with the right attachments with the right attachments the ADS speed is as fast as you would ever need it to be for battle royale got one more person here a little bit close range let's see how it does with hip fire the fire rate's unbeatable again the element of surprise he didn't see my footsteps he didn't know where I was he couldn't hear me ninja is coming in handy all right, so we don't need hip fire on this sniper. So I'm gonna look for a better, possibility for a better attachment. I generally don't use the hip fire attachment at all. The M13's got pretty good hip fire anyway. And uh, and typically I'm looking for things that stabilize recoil, speed up. Speed up ADS and give me the best chance to win the gunfight. All right, now when we're in the helicopter in the mid game here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate around the map from node to node while also heading in the general direction of new drops. That's the best way to find people who are out in the open moving. You wanna be able to surprise folks and predict their avenue of approach to a drop or where they might be running in one of the nodes. And so I'm looking around the outside here as this drop's coming down to see if we've got anybody running in to where that airdrop's gonna land. Checking over here to see if I see footsteps in these buildings, then I'll hop out. And at this point, we're just looking for upgrades on attachments. Don't see much there. All right, so we're gonna put that sniper expert on instead of hip fire. And we don't need a lateral recoil control attachment. So I'll look to get a vertical recoil control attachment for the M21. All right, vertical recoil control. That's what we want. We are gonna put it on here instead of the lateral. It's exactly what we need. All right, so we've got a guy out in the road. I'm gonna drop a little bit farther away from him. Get a little bit of distance. Bust out the M21 here. Super fast, super fast fire rate. 
suppressor on there makes it harder for them to tell where those shots are coming from, and you can just drop people in an instant like that. Oh, there's one. We'll snipe this guy who's out in the open. Easy kills. Highly accurate. Highly accurate. Easy kills at long range. Missing. Trying to shoot him through bushes. We'll get a little bit closer and get some mid-range shots with the M13. Nice and easy. We'll heal up. There's only eight people left in the lobby. We got some gunshots over here. I'm going to distance myself from the helicopter a little bit. Reload the M21. Knocked him. Footsteps. Immediately dead with the M13. Easy work up close with a couple of prep shots. Crazy fast, crazy fast time to kill for Battle Royale. Easy demonstration, M13, EBR, and that combination absolutely shreds the lobbies. If you got anything out of this video, if you liked what you saw, be sure to like the video, subscribe, maybe hit the bell notification, see if it makes a bell sound when you click it. Thanks for watching guys, Mod 6 out.